guys. Hello, Mind Shifters. I am super hungry. I was in training today. And so I am going to make some keto waffles. I'm actually going to use hazelnut flour. I'm not really, I'm still playing around with that particular flour. I think my favorite still is almond flour. And my favorite is that mix I did for the crust. Like if I ever do a pie, I like that little paleo um, flour that I use. But I'm using hazelnut flour. So this is new. So we're going to see the consistency. I think I'm going to do some waffles, um, sausage, and some eggs. So I think that's going to be my dinner. Tonight I'm cooking like traditional spaghetti for the crumb snatcher and he'll have leftovers for lunch and i don't know if he'll make it for another dinner tomorrow before for when he goes to work so anyways let's get to it it's a pretty simple recipe it's pretty basic this should be a few minutes um and i probably i'm either going to make some whipped cream or i do have some sugar free syrup it's not the best so i don't really recommend it I don't know, I may go with the whipped cream or you can use peanut butter or just some butter depending, hopefully they're really good. I'm gonna put it on like um, in the middle on three because I want it to be golden brown. I don't necessarily like crispy, crispy waffles. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Got, oh, let's get started. I guess you got, will you see me? I want you to kind of see the bowl. So clear bowl. We're gonna start with one cup of the hazelnut flour. Okay. Alright. We are going to put all of our dry ingredients first. So one cup. We're going to do half a teaspoon of bacon powder. We're going to do a dash of dash of stuff. We're going to do a dash of cinnamon. And we're going to do a dash of, of nutmeg. Oh, that was maybe more than a dash, but I like that. So we have all of the dry ingredients. Okay. So now I am going to mix in the wet ingredients. And we're going to do one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Oh, there we go. We are going to do we are going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We are going to do I'm going to do two tablespoons of MCT oil or coconut oil. You can use hazelnut oil. I don't want that flavor. And we want to do two, three eggs, okay? Oh, I also want to put in about one to two tablespoons of swerve. And I'm still getting used to swerve. Um, maybe I'll put one. Let me see. Oh. Okay, I'll put two. They were kind of modest. They weren't like a full two. And we are going to whisk that. And then I'm going to use a half a cup measure and I'm going to pour that into uh, the waffle pan. This is the consistency you all can see. All right, we are going to whisk. Whisk away, whisk away. some almond flour. I 
think I put too much milk and maybe too many eggs. So that's what happens when cooking. You just kind of kind of go with it. But I'm going to heat up the waffle iron now. And I have to try. I was trying to thicken the uh, the batter because you don't want it too thin. Um, yeah, starting to. Still not as thick as I like, but it's better than before. So I probably have to, for that recipe, I'm gonna try to give you all the right recipe. But for that recipe, I probably had to do um, like a, one cup of almond flour. But just kind of get it thick into the consistency. And I may save the rest of the batter for like, like pancakes or something tomorrow. Probably make two waffles. And uh, yeah, yeah. The consistency. So I had to add some almond flour. Kind of thicken it up a bit. Yeah. So I sprayed the top and the bottom. So we're just going to close the lid. You see it's on red. You close it. I may have put too much uh, batter in there. So I'll try to give you guys the appropriate amount. I think I was just so hungry. I'm like, yeah, I think I put too much in there. You don't want to do what I just did. Okay, and it'll turn green when it's ready. Guys, the struggle was real with these, these, these waffles. But I eventually got it. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you the plated up. And I'm going to put some eggs and sausage. And this is my dinner. And this has happened when you rush and you don't prepare. But I wanted to show you this is real life, guys. Let's have some taste for some waffles. This is my first time working with um, hazelnut flour. Um, I hope it was kind of messy, guys. I'll try to do better with my vlogs or cooking, but this looks really good. This is my dinner. And I'm going to add, so I got some sausage and some eggs, and then I have to go bring my son something he forgot for his job, but I'm going to eat. So I'll get better, and I'll let you guys know how it tasted. Sorry. 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 I'm sorry, I got to get some almond milk to wash it down. So you see those boxes? You know I'm in my decluttering. I have no shame to it, guys. I should. But the left hand of that is donations. And I'm trying to figure out the middle. If I can sell it or give it to family members or friends, I'll do that. If not, all of it will be donations. But... That hit the spot though. Have you ever just like wanted it? So that's what I was saying about having a taste for something. I don't know. I just had a taste for for waffles, and, and it's all mental, and I know that. But the question is like, you no, know, can I do a keto version? I got to do almond flour. On the flour, coconut flour. I don't know if I necessarily do coconut flour by itself, but I saw this hazelnut flour and I'm like, it's gonna be dry. But I realized I think I added too much milk and too many eggs, and but for in, in order for me to balance out the batter, I added some more flour, which actually was really good. Sorry, guys. So oh, now I can go put on my like lazy pants and I gotta get my. I gotta get Eric something. I gotta take something to this job. Okay. Bye. 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 So, guys, I actually tried this recipe again the next day. Um, the boy wanted some waffles <laughs> when he came home from work. Um, so, anywho, I, I've got the recipe down. So, it's one cup of hazelnut flour, one cup of almond flour, a half a cup of. Um, 
almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and then you can kind of like play around with the taste and sort of as far as adding what uh, sugars, but it looks so good. I don't really want to give you the syrup that I'm using. I want to finish it. I'm doing more research. I don't think that's the best sugar-free syrup. If anyone's really interested, just, just hit me up. This is a sugar-free syrup that I'm using. Um, I, again, I was going to make a whipped cream, but I'm actually looking at how to make my own syrups, actually. Syrup, did I pronounce that right? But this can't, look at this. This is so good, guys. And the hazelnut has an interesting smell. I like the taste, though. I like the taste, but actually, again, I just wanted to let you guys know I tried the recipe again the next day, and um, 